to the son of David, they were sore displeased, and said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yet, have ye never read, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? After Jesus had driven out all those crazy people who had turned the temple into a market square, where money changers and all sorts of traders did their business, miracles followed. I find it very fascinating that Jesus was able to heal the blind and the lame immediately after furiously whipping all these dimwits who had turned God's house into a den of thieves. Jesus healed these people right inside the temple and in the presence of the same crowds which witnessed his divine outburst. I don't know many people who could do the same thing today. Hosanna to the son of David, they worshipped. Incredible how little children felt the need to praise God for the miracles whilst the religious leaders complained to Jesus and drew long faces of displeasure and disbelief. Religiosity has never been the scheme of things when it comes to God's divine plan for man. Hosanna to the son of David, the children cried and sang in the temple. Have you never read, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? If you read your Bible well, you will recall that this same Jesus who was fascinated by these little children crying and praising God, was no stranger himself to being the very mouth of babes. At 12 years old, Jesus spent the whole day arguing with the religious leaders in the temple. He was telling them just how the law and the prophets heralded his birth, the coming of the Messiah to the world. Through the mouth of teenage Jesus, God spoke great things these guys never heard before. Have you never read, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? The Jewish authorities were greatly surprised and said, how does this man know so much when he has never been to school? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Hoseas, and of Judah and Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. Man's obsession with class and status has robbed him of his only chance to meet with his God. God came in the flesh through Christ and the Jews missed his generation. Prepare to meet thy God, cried prophet Amos. John the Baptist spent all his life in the wilderness, eating locusts and wearing animal skins. All the educated fools of the law regarded John as a barbaric but the same masters of the law didn't know the times of God. It was the same uneducated prophet who introduced them to Christ whom they did not know, even though he was standing in their midst all the time. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Please, don't tell me about science which uses God's dirt in order to prove there's no God. Science can't exist independent of God since these guys use God's specimen, the earth, to discredit the very creator thereof. A fool said in his heart there is no God. How come you know so much about God, Sydney? I don't have any degree in theology, and never graduated from any seminary, I'm just a vessel which the Lord uses to get through to you. The Bible is my library and encyclopedia. Out of the mouth of babes, I give you Jesus, 